Remembering our mnemonic aid, Dep Socks LA, we have reached the letter S for starting point. It is critical to identify the right starting and ending points. This is important to simplify the analysis of tennis movements and stroking patterns effectively. When choosing the starting point for analysis, two primary factors come into play. First, we must decide when in the motion to begin analyzing the motion. Many movement skills are discrete. They have a clear beginning and end. For example, in throwing, the windup marks the obvious starting point of analysis. But other skills are more continuous. In tennis, footwork flows into a loaded stance and this flows into the stroke as the player moves to intercept the ball. In tennis, we can break the motion into two separate actions whose safety, Beautiful. effectiveness, and efficiency can be more simply analyzed individually. First, movement to intercept the ball, which helps the player get into position and ends in a loaded stance. Next, we identify the second motion, which can be analyzed separately, the stroke to impact the ball, or SIB. This motion starts from the loaded stance and ends when the ball is struck. Identifying these starting and ending points simplifies the motion analysis process for the coach and tennis player.